So was that your funny bone that got hit? Yeah, and I already had a cut on my elbow already. So. I saw Doug put something on. Yeah, he put uh, just a bandage. I told him like, like it wasn't sticking, so then he had to wrap it with his little tape. So Armando hits not just one, but two. Yeah. So what do you think of when the second one goes through? So the second one, um, the coach said to get a shot and then foul. And then Mondo, me and Mondo came to me and was like, just give me a play, find me. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get you one. And I threw it to him, so he knocked it down. So that was like our play. Um, and I was happy for him, he knocked it down. For two. How, how fitting is it that his last time here, he's doing Armando's stuff. Yeah. Armando's stuff is telling you guys he's going to shoot a three. He does, then he hits it. I mean, that's just Armando. He's a unique stuff. guy. <laughs> I mean, he's a troll, but like, <laughs> at the, the first time, he was, he was supposed to shoot the um, the one in transition, but he pumped fake got a layup. Cause I told him like I need a three, so then he came down and shot one. And then um, for him to say just I'm gonna shoot a three, last like three minutes of the game, like I mean that's all my other fans. Is there been a game this year where you haven't come out having get hit in the face or bleeding somewhere? I don't I don't think so. I, don't, I feel like I'm always getting hit or I'm having, I'm, having, I'm having cuts in my elbows and my hands or. I mean, I feel like that's always going to be a game of me. I'll live on. You said you said you might cry. Did you cry? Nah. Yeah. It felt weird because I usually I, I cried for everybody else on senior night, but for me, like I was just more ha like I was just cheering and happy. Um, I don't. It probably I'll probably hit me like once I get back into my locker. I just sit down um, and just think about it. That curtain call at the end for all you guys, all the seniors. How did that feel? I felt great just to share. Uh, especially like Armando, because I came in here with him my freshman year, he was a sophomore. But just to you know, share that moment with all the seniors and just uh, hear the crowd cheering our names. And um, it was just like a special, special moment for all of us. Armando <laughs> got a, a, a white and a blue jersey for his senior nights. I mean, you have the opportunity to get a match set too, don't you? Yeah, uh, I definitely do. I have a COVID year, so um, I'm definitely getting to that and thinking about that more after the season rather than right now. Going back to Armando, he got a little emotional mm -hmm. over there. Um, you know, you've been playing with him all these years. What, for, from your perspective, what is his legacy here as a North Carolina Tar Heel? I mean, I think his legacy here is hard to, to beat. Um, the way he's impacted not only his teammates, but this this whole university has been special. And, um, his jersey deserves to be in the Raptors. And, um, I mean, I'm super just fortunate to play with a team like him. He's just been so a great leader for us. Uh, he's been dominant throughout his whole career here. Just breaking records left and right. I feel like each year a new record is broken. And, um, you know, one thing about him, he left a legacy that will be established for the rest of his life. And, Definitely hard to beat for his record. Do you think one of the reasons maybe you didn't get emotional is because you have that option dangling out there? So it's maybe not as as finite as it would be in other situations. Yeah, but also I'm not like really an emotional person, so I don't think uh, unless I'm just like last time I think I like was like really emotional was national championship. Um, but uh, afterward, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Out there, there were some chances as well. If you kind of Campaigning to get you back here. Now, yeah, I love our fans. I love the students here. Um, just like throughout the whole year, they just showed a lot of love for me, and I saw them one more year. And uh, you know, they always had that little whiteboard, and just to see how they just just show love and embrace me. Um, I'm just I'm super definitely gonna cherish this and remember this for the rest of my life. Was Deja here? No, they actually left. Oh, they left they for the tournament. Okay. The, uh, you you think she would have been chanting one more year? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> she, has she has a decision to make too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when do you think you will make that decision? Um, I don't know. I don't have a timetable. Um, just gonna finish out this year, going to ACC tournament, and then, um, do well March Madness, and then see how everything else plays out. RJ, you guys have a chance to hang a banner. Saturday night, if you went out right. Yeah. Where is this team heading into that, that game? Um, definitely going to enjoy this moment just for the seniors and just everyone just contributing, making sure we got a win on senior night. That was also a special, a special moment for us. But um, going to Saturday uh, at Durham, we're just going to have that same mindset that we had the rest of the season, this whole season, just to be hungry, um, thirsty for more. Like I know like we're a good chance of winning the regular season, and but, we still got one more game left on the schedule, so we have to do well, do a good job of preparing, um, and just having that same mindset, not taking the full of our gas yet. Cool. Thanks, appreciate it.